Welcome to another video from UltimateAlgebra.com. In this video, we will be looking at solving simultaneous equations using the elimination method. Please, it's important you know how to solve basic equations before you watch this. We have a link in the description. It's also important you watch the full video because we cover different examples that are extremely important for your understanding. Okay, let's dive in. The idea of solving by elimination is to remove one of the variables by adding or subtracting so that we can have a simple equation to solve. Let's look at an example to explain it. Solve the simultaneous equations. 4x plus 2y equals 15 and x minus 2y equals 5. Let's call this equation 1 and equation 2. The first step is to choose the letter you want to eliminate. You can choose any of the letters, but if you have one with the same coefficient, it would be best to choose that one because it will take care of step two. So here, I will choose the y. Next, we want to make the coefficient the same. Because we chose y, which has the same coefficient of two for both equation one and two, there's nothing to do in this step. The next step is to eliminate the y values. Since one is positive and the other is negative, we can add the two equations so that the y value will be zero. 4x plus x will be 5x. 2y plus negative 2y will be zero and 15 plus five will be 20. Now we can solve this one step equation, 5x equals 20. The five is multiplying, so we will divide both sides by five. The five cancels out. 20 divided by five is four. Therefore, x equals four. Finally, we can replace the x by four in equation one or two to solve for y. I'm using equation two. We have four minus two y equals five. We have a two-step equation here. Subtract four from both sides. The four will cancel out. 5 minus 4 is 1. So we have negative 2y equals 1. Next, we will divide both sides by negative 2. The negative 2 will cancel out. So we will have y equals negative 1 over 2. So our final answer will be x equals 4 and y equals negative 1 over 2. Before we go to our next examples, we want you to do us a huge favor. Smash the like button. We make these videos for you so if we don't know you like them, there will be no reason to make more. Thank you. Let's look at example 2. We want to solve the simultaneous equations. x plus 3y equals negative 1. And x minus 5y equals negative 9. Let's call these equation 1 and equation 2. The first step is to choose the letter you want to eliminate. You can choose any of the letters. But if you have one with the same coefficient, it will be best to choose that one because it will take care of step two. So here, I will choose the x. Next, you want to make the coefficient the same. Here, the coefficient of the x are already the same, so there's nothing to do in this step. Remember, when you have no coefficient written, the coefficient is one. The next step is to eliminate the x values. Since both are positive, we can subtract the two equations 
so that the x value will be 0. x minus x will be 0. 3y minus negative 5y equals 8y. We know that the minus negative is addition. Then negative 1 minus negative 9 equals 8. Now, we have a simple equation we can easily solve. 8y equals 8. We solve this equation by dividing both sides by 8. The 8 will cancel out. 8 divided by 8 is 1. So we have y equals 1. To find the x value, just substitute y equals 1 into any of the equations and solve. I will choose equation 1. So I have x plus 3 times 1 equals negative 1. Let's solve for x. 3 times 1 is 3. So we have x plus 3 equals negative 1. Subtract 3 from both sides. The 3 will cancel out. Negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4. So x equals negative 4. Our final answer is therefore x equals negative 4 and y equals 1. Okay, we have looked at two examples in which one of the variables have the same coefficient in both equations. Let's look at examples where we have to manipulate the coefficient before solving. Let's look at example three. We want to solve the simultaneous equations 7x plus 3y equals negative 2 and negative 14x minus 9y equals negative 8. Let's call this equation 1 and this one equation 2. The first step is to choose the letter you want to eliminate. It really doesn't matter which one you choose. I always try to choose the easier one. I will choose x. Next, you want to make the coefficient of the letter you want to eliminate the same. In the last two examples, we looked at cases in which the coefficient of one of the letters is already the same. Here, none of the coefficients are the same. So check if one of the coefficients is a multiple of the other. Here, we see that 14 is a multiple of 7. 7 times 2 will give us 14. So we can multiply equation 1 by 2 so that we can make the coefficient of the x the same. This will give us 14x plus 6y equals negative 4. We will call this equation 3. The next step is to eliminate the x values. We will be using equation 2 and equation 3. Since one is positive and the other is negative, we can add the two equations so that the x value will be 0. Negative 14x plus 14x equals 0. Negative 9y plus 6y equals negative 3y. Then, negative 8 plus negative 4 equals negative 12. Now, we have a simple equation we can easily solve. Negative 3y equals negative 12. We solve this equation by dividing both sides by negative 3. The negative 3 will cancel out. Negative 12 divided by negative 3 is 4. Therefore, y equals 4. To find the x value, just substitute y equals 4 into any of the equations and solve. I will choose equation 1. 7x plus 3 
times 4 equals negative 2. Let's solve for x. 3 times 4 is 12. Subtract 12 from both sides. The 12 will cancel out. Negative 2 minus 12 equals negative 14. Next, we divide both sides by 7. The 7 will cancel out. Negative 14 divided by 7 is negative 2. Therefore, x equals negative 2. Our final answer is therefore x equals negative 2 and y equals 4. Let's take our last example. Example 4. We want to solve the simultaneous equations. 2x plus 3y equals 8 and negative 3x plus 4y equals 5. Let's call this equation 1 and this equation 2. The first step, as always, is to choose the letter you want to eliminate. It really doesn't matter which one you choose. I will choose x. Next, you want to make the coefficient of the letter you want to eliminate the same. In this question, we see that none of the coefficients are the same. And also, none of the coefficients is a multiple of the other. So we will use the idea of cross multiplying the coefficient. We will multiply equation one by the coefficient of the x in equation two. So we will multiply equation 1 by negative 3. The negative doesn't really matter. So you could have just multiplied it by 3. So we will get negative 6x minus 9y equals negative 24. Let's call this equation 3. We will then multiply equation 2 by the coefficient of the x in equation 1. So we will multiply it by 2. So we have negative 6x plus 8y equals 10. We will call this equation 4. The next step is to eliminate the x values. We will be using equation 3 and equation 4. Since both are negative, we can subtract the two equations so that the x value will be 0. Negative 6x minus negative 6x equals 0. Negative 9y minus 8y equals negative 17y. Then, Negative 24 minus 10 equals negative 34. Now, we have a simple equation we can easily solve. Negative 17y equals negative 34. We solve this equation by dividing both sides by negative 17. The negative 17 will cancel out. Negative 34 divided by negative 17 is 2. Therefore, y equals 2. To find the x value, just substitute y equals 2 into any of the equations and solve. I chose equation 1. 2x plus 3 times 2 equals 8. Let's solve for x. 3 times 2 is 6. Subtract 6 from both sides. This will cancel out. 8 
minus 6 equals 2. Next, we divide both sides by 2. The 2 will cancel out. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Therefore, x equals 1. Our final answer is therefore x equals 1 and y equals 2. Please smash the like button to show your support if you haven't done that yet. We deeply appreciate it. We will end this video here. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Please join us in the next video where we'll be looking at solving simultaneous equations with the substitution method. Have a great day. Goodbye.